Why would you use the other gun when you got this one? I mean, seriously, that other gun is terrible. It's terrible. Not quite as bad as that scope of fail, though. Goodness me. You can imagine, I can imagine them, the guys who make this game just sitting there. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Yes? What is that? <laughs> Let's give them a gun that is totally and utterly crap, even when they try and fire it. Ah, I like your plan. What should we do? Well, you know the game is all enclosed and stuff. Yes. <laughs> Let's give them a scope. Oh, you genius! Idiots. That was different. Um, what does this do? Let's assume they did something. Story time. We might lose a lot more if it's as bad as it looks. Bad for whom? For the crew? Where every member seems to think that navigating the North Pole is like a trip to the shops? Yeah, shops. In this place, the wind howls like a pack of wild beasts bellowing, go forth and behold. The beast leads you into the frozen hell. In you go. Eyes wide open while the cold spreads down your throat and into your gut, where it forms a ball of ice. This is the North Pole's welcome. No marching band, no flags, no speeches. Instead, it shatters all your illusions, and suddenly, all the routine comforts of Mother Earth seem alien, half forgotten, like something in a dream. Only if this has happened to you, can you truly understand the North Pole. And it will stay with you forever. Mental note to self. Should have brought coat to North Pole. Should have brought boiler to power central heating. Should have brought maps to avoid crashing into a giant iceberg. Ah. Idiot. Okay, so, um... I pushed a button and the machine made two poles erect up there. <laughs> so, we'll have a look. Presumably we're about to get dapped by something unpleasant. Or was there something down there I was supposed to check? No, I don't know. Who cares? Let's just go through the door. What is behind the door of mystery? Um, a ladder? Yay. You know, this ship area kind of looks familiar. But then, the entire ship looks familiar. Is it me or does that look like an evil, like a screaming face? No, that definitely looks like a screaming face. Screaming for help, and that one does. Man, that's creepy. Maybe it's just me seeing, like, faces in the snowflakes now. We all seem to be screaming. I'm gonna save it. The big flashing light tells me to go through the radioactive door. But you know what? Oh, fine, radioactive door it is. It's beckoning me. Yeah, I'm ready for you. Got a ridiculously awesome gun. Oh, okay. I guess that's it. Ah, loading screen. Yay! Um, sweet. So, the reactor's gone. Maybe we're hunting for the reactor now. The hunt for the red reactor. Not the red October. That was a submarine. This isn't a submarine. I don't know where I was going with that. I was just thinking of... for whatever reason. I'm going crazy, just don't mind me. I'll, I'm just going to go take myself to the men with white coats. And, you know, they'll sort me out. Okay, now it is melting. See? I don't even want to guess where I am. Someone can guess for me if you like. I don't think we can go that way. We'll have a quick look here and then move on. Hmm, steam effects are pretty. Now, for the third time, Averkin. Yeah. Barbukin. Yeah. Dobrovolsky. Right here. Erashev. Erashev! Zobachev! Yeah! Kayakting! He's not here! Levey! Levey! 
Mazira, dead. Novrotsky, Nureyev, is missing. Tatourov, Tatourov, here, he's right here. Hundakov, Uryasov, Feriulin, Kakimov, Undakov and Kakimov stayed in the engine room. Navrosky was working downstairs. Where are they now? Not here. Shiverov. Ugh. Shokanov. Eliashev. Here. Is that everyone? No. no. Eliashev. Yurigin. Yadugin. Here's what we have. HQ is aware of our situation and is launching a rescue mission. We'll stay in contact as long as the radio is operational. Secondly, the valves are welded all around. The second line will take a long time to cool down, so we'll be warm for a while. Now, regarding food... Regarding food. Oh, I guess I made it to the other bit. Sweet! Okay, so we're gonna be warm down here. That's why it makes me think it can't have been that long since people were here, you know? Except for the fact there's people on the ship. Because things are still working. That was terrible! No, seriously, that was a terrible attempt! You should be ashamed of yourself! Dreadful. Why can't I get through here? Oh. Hey, I want that ammo. Give it. Give it! Jerk. Alright, uh, reloading time. I think I've got a lot of ammo anyway. Oh, God, that matters. God, that always safe. Mmm, face. Mmm. We'll be stopping that, don't worry, people are getting going. Why haven't you stopped yet? Ooh, hello. And yeah, you're right. People have been saying the lights go out when you get. when things happen. You're right, they do. I have noticed this too. And the lights go back on when they're dead. Maybe it's because they're not actually here. Oh, good. Sweet. Give me your gun. Oh, I must be full on that kind of ammo. Never mind, though. Ooh. Sweet. Face. Things are a bit easier now I've got a gun that actually works. But how many dudes are they going to put in one corridor? Many more, I think. Because... Yep. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Claus. Have you not learned your lesson? Man, oh, Mr. Claus, you're getting rubbish. This was more effort in this, man. Seriously. Disappointing. Okay, I guess we go back down and see. Ooh, something's blue and shiny. Oh, maybe this we've worked our way around to. Oh, god damn it! Fine, the game is telling me it's time to quit. Well, yeah, we'll stretch. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> I've been hunched over. Don't know why. It's because it's tense. Um. Yeah, we'll make this the end of the set. After mutilating the dude, Mr. Claus. We need a word. God damn it, Mr. Claus. I hate you. <coughs> Stupid Claus. Oh, my glove. How cool is my glove? Sweet. So instead of, you know, killing ourselves this time, we all go down carefully. After saving it. See, this is what... <clears throat> Thanks for watching. We'll continue this next time. Bye bye. Neither push the goddamn switch. Duh.